What's up, gamers? I'm back in the kitchen again with my boy, Peevish Eggshell, and we got a special weeaboo cooking for you. So, um, Peevish, what are we gonna be making today? Love. Before that, Peevish, what are we gonna be making in the kitchen? Oh, what are we gonna make again? Well, it's a good thing you don't know because today we're gonna be making tonkatsu, which is Japanese traditional street food. It's fried pork cutlet, and it's really good. So let's get into it. So in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, I'm gonna give you guys a little secret and show you exactly what every girl wants. She just wants a big old chunk of just raw meat. Like look at this, three pounds of pork loin. This is what we're gonna be frying up into our tonkatsu today. Additionally, what you're gonna want for this recipe, you're gonna want some panko breadcrumbs and some flour, which we're gonna use to bread up our pork loin when we fry it. We also want some salt and pepper for seasoning because we're white, or at least I'm white and I can't take much else. Uh, we got some green onions here for garnish, some lemon for garnish, and of course, we want our oil to lather things up, get it nice and smooth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, additionally, you probably want some sauce to dip it in. You can be really try-hardy and get some actual tonkatsu sauce. We're just gonna use some P.F. Chang's teriyaki here. Um, but yeah, that's all we really need to get cooking. So what we're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna cut your pork into about half inch strips, comb soft, that, so they fry through nice and consistently and evenly. That's a little bit munty, so I'm gonna try again here. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, and you're gonna wanna dice up the rest of your pork that way. Man, I got raw meat all over my hands. Wouldn't be the first time. Right, so, after we've cut up our very large, very raw hunk of meat, you're gonna wanna prepare your dredging. And this was my bad, guys. I should have told you this earlier. Uh, we will actually need some eggs. So go ahead and scramble those up. And the order that we're gonna dredge in will be meat goes in the flour, it goes in the eggs, it goes in the panko, and then into the pan. Right, so now we're ready to get the meat into the pan. So we're gonna dredge it in our flour, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get it nice and well coated. Uh, flip it over a few times, make sure you get good contact, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna then put it in the egg, uh, which I really should have got a bigger bowl for, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Can't contain the just sheer size of our raw meat here. Um, then we're gonna to go to, after we get that good and dredged, into our panko. Same thing, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we get it good and toasted and uh, we're gonna wanna set this gently in our pan. Now, for those of you who watched our gyoza video, me and Peeva's gyoza video, you know we set off our fire alarm, so you're gonna wanna be very careful here, not spill any oil, just slowly lower it into the pan, like so. Right, so the time has come for us to take our beautiful tonkatsu off. It's looking nice and golden brown here. Wanna make sure you use tongs, because just about the only thing worse than splashing hot oil on yourself is walking in on your girlfriend uh, cheating on you and we're gonna move on to eating. Right, so to finish up here, we're gonna wanna cut it into nice little bite-sized wedges. Comme uh, ça, right here. Yeah, just make sure we get it good. Oh my goodness, this is so crispy. Holy cow, this looks so good. It almost looks as good as uh, Peevish Eggshell does behind the camera right now. So we're gonna sort of square that up. We're well, gonna throw in some garnish here, put some uh, green onion on top, uh, grab a little lemon wedge. Uh, where's that gonna look best? Maybe right here, back here, maybe maybe do a second lemon wedge. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I'm an artist. I'm a fucking artist. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? We're gonna top it off. This is gonna go really, really well with some nice Japanese rice, a little scoop right there. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Dude, Gordon Ramsay would be happy with this. How's that look? Looking good? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all that. Perfect. Right, so here comes our favorite part of the video, the tasting. Oh my goodness, look at how good that looks. So now we're gonna attempt to, uh, to taste our own creation. 
So we don't have uh, chopsticks because we're we're fools. I'm right, gonna grab a bit of this. Mm. Fine dining. Here we go. You get a piece. You get a piece peevish. Mm. Oh my goodness! Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Oh. How's it? Dude, it's really crunchy. I'm surprised at how crunchy that got. Dang, mm. it's your ten. You're a 10. My cooking's a 10 or I'm a 10? You. Oh shit, I think we're gonna have to go to the bedroom. What do you think, Carl? Damn. Oh, I what forgot to answer um, the question earlier. Uh, uh, I gave the food a, uh, it's a solid 10. It's a solid 10. It's a solid <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our cooking show. Uh, we have a couple other videos out if you wanna check those out. Uh, and please check out my boy Peevish Eggshells channel. He has a Minecraft YouTube channel. He's a really great cameraman, really great friend to me. Uh, yeah, and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you make some good yummy tonkatsu. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.